I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like I crap spacer's choice petals. I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if you got your car for me, sir, it's just a matter of horse it for you. Just put it. Uh, of course, because I didn't. Oh, uh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, we got your What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. I... Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. No. Uh, well... Yes, well, no, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue?
While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will. But I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Why? Are you heading to the lab? Because that would be... I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have... Uh, benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to... Um, enhance your charisma. Some people say rap musk makes it easier to attract companionship. Makes you more, uh, appealing. Do 
the results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass.